Hey guys, this is Truck Driver Russ from Hawkeye Vaping and Reviews. How's it going? Um, sorry I haven't put up a video in a while. My camera broke and I just got a new camera. Uh, full HD, 1080p, all that good stuff. Um, today we're going to be uh, rebuilding the uh, Russian 91% and we're going to be putting in a uh, micro chimney coil. Now, to me, IMO, um, I believe it has way better flavor, way better vapor, and we're going to dive down, take her apart, build her, put her all back together and vapor and see how it goes. All right, let's get to it and let's go down. All right, guys, we're back. And here we have the Russian all broke down. Here's the deck with the old build still on it. And just a regular old micro coil all gunked up. And uh, I'll take this build off and go rinse her off. And then uh, I just wanted to show you how this, how I set these up this way here. Um, some people do it a different way. I, I kind of like doing it this way. Um, let me get this build off here and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Here we got the deck all cleaned up. Ready to go. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, 28 gauge Canthal. I usually take about... Uh, Anywhere from six to eight inches, I guess. Being a pain in the ass trying to get this canthal back in. There we go. All right. All right. And then what you need to do is get you a 564 throw bit or something equivalent to it. And I use this uh, screwdriver here, this Phillips head screwdriver here. And I believe it is a, right there it is, zero, 00 times 20, whatever that is, millimeters or whatever. And we're going to do, um, we're going to do 12 wraps. Okay, there's 12 wraps, push this together, and then what I like to do is I like to take uh, a pair of pliers and I like to pull it a little bit, give it a little tug, straighten this lead out here and do the same thing, give it a little tug. get your micro coil just like that and I don't cut nothing off I leave the legs uh, just like this just this long and then what I like to do is I like to take uh, take my tweezers I know you don't have to do this because you can do it when you're uh, when the Russian or the base is on your uh, your uh, mod or whatever but uh, I like to do it this way anyways I usually do it for about 10 seconds see if I can do this so you guys can see it here Now you want to let this thing cool down a little bit before you try touching it. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna burn the piss out of your fingers. All 
All right, and that's what you end up with right there. Nice little tight little micro coil. All right, next what I like to do is I like to take this uh, blunt uh, syringe needle. And uh, well, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna screw this onto my uh, ohm reader here. I like to use that to build on. And then uh, take this uh, micro coil and put it on the blunt needle. And then what I like to do is I like to take it and drop it down just like that. And then what I like to do is hold this here to help stabilize this. And then I just wrap this lead around this positive. Just like that. And tighten this down. Careful. Sometimes if you tighten it down too tight, this center block will move. All right, that's what it looks like right there. All right. Then move this, move this wire out of the way. Now this this trick this part here can be a little tricky. Taking this other lead right here and trying to get it down underneath underneath this screw head so what I like to do sometimes most of the time is take this and kind of bend it down a little bit it's pretty difficult on camera but we're going to give her a shot anyways Wrap that around and hold it with your finger. Zoom in a little bit here. And then take your screwdriver and tighten this lead up, but you want to make sure that this, this is in there. I just take a little screwdriver make sure that's in there make sure this stays tight tighten her down This is pretty difficult here. I'll take a pair of tweezers and trim that lead off there. Trim that lead off. And then what I like to do is I'll take a screwdriver and Kind of anything hanging over, I like to push back a little bit. All right. You see that? All right. Next, leaving this syringe in here, take your little screwdriver and get underneath this coil. And work her up a little bit. Give her a little lift. By leaving this syringe needle in here, it helps keep your coil straight while you're attempting. 
see if I can get this in here. Yeah. To lift this coil up a little bit. Just a little bit of pressure, not a whole bunch. Just so it's off the deck and don't make connection with the deck. Alright, and then I'll take the same little screwdriver and I'll stick it in between that lead right there and I'll kind of pull it out a little bit. So it looks like that. See that? Because what we're doing there is we're going to take the cotton and we're going to put the cotton in between the coil and this lead. That's how we're going to do our wrap. Alright. Then take your plot or your uh, tweezers and just give her a little bit of lift and give her a little pinch. All right, now let's see what she's at. 1.7. Let's see, 1.72 is where it's sitting right now. Yeah. But that'll change once you put it on the, uh, once you put it on the ante, so, or the mod. Oh, unscrew this a little bit. Oh, god damn it. Here I go again, dropping shit. <laughs> I feel like Twisted 420. He's always dropping shit. He always says, son of a bitch. All right. Yeah, we'll screw it on the old Hannah's here. And we're going to bump it up to bump it up to yeah, let me turn this around this way here 14 watts that's where I'm gonna have her set and it's saying 1.5 but we're gonna pinch her off give her a squeeze and see this here let's try it this way oh, look at that she's firing up kind of okay there all right just squeeze giving her a little squeeze tighten her up and then we'll take and Put this needle back down in there and make sure she's centered. I'll give her a little push over it a little bit. Let's see if you can see that there. Oh, that's centered pretty good. Look at that. All right, that's what gives it its chimney effect there. Let me back this off just a little bit here. There, I'll just lift it up to the camera here. It's not bad right there. Look at that. Right where that air hole comes up. See that air hole? That's sitting off the deck. Alright. Somehow my camera got moved here. Alright. Next we're going to take uh, some cotton. Organic cotton. Cotton ball. And we're going to pull off a little bit here. We're going to roll it up for our wicking here. Now, 
That's going to be kind of difficult trying to watch this here. Alright, what I do is I take that and I stick it through. And kind of twist it a little bit. Alright, see how it's in between the, the lead and the coil? Alright. Now before I do that, I always like to stick this needle back down in the hole here because what happens sometimes is that cotton will kind of get underneath that coil a little bit and you'll kind of plug off that air hole. So, I'll just take this here and we're going to wrap her around. Take this one here, I'm going to wrap around this way, just like that. Okay. Now, by doing it this way, more of the coil surface area is on the cotton, and which will help keep it cool. Not only that, with the air running through the middle of the coil, will also help keep it cool my camera here it keeps moving on me back this off just a bit here all right now once you get that then I take I take just a little bit of juice and today I'm using raspberry blue tobacco I make this myself I just put just a little bit of juice on there and kind of helps it like an adhesive okay then I take my try not to make this too long here I cut that I just put a little bit of juice on there to help keep it keep it from moving too much and it kind of helps make it stick to the deck a little bit now you want to keep this cotton um, kind of short you don't want it to plug up the juice channel here I don't want nothing hanging over the edge here because when you put your uh, chimney cap or chimney barrel or whatever you want to call it back on a little more juice right here okay now some of this leftover what I do is I kind of stretch it out a little bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this little piece on the back side here to cover up that uh, to cover up that other part of that uh, coil that was exposed or the lead that was exposed this is just how I do it guys Everything's subjective. I'm sure you guys got your own, own way of doing stuff. But this is what works for me.
take this screwdriver and I kind of pad that up a little bit. There's a little bit of take that out and we still have a good hole there all right let's give her a little fire let's test her out a little bit here now there we go Look at that looks like a chimney and that's just 14 watts that puts out pretty good all right next we'll take this uh, chimney barrel I screw that back on here make sure the nothing moved everything looks good still and we'll put the other part back on the chimney cap all right and we'll put the tank part on it put the top cap on and screw the Addy from the mod and then we will take out the uh, fill screw and we're gonna fill her up Be careful not to uh, put too much pressure. There we go, she's full. Put the screw back in. You put too much pressure trying to squeeze that juice in there, and then you'll have some come out the. Uh, it'll it'll pass by that rubber gasket that's on on your uh, top cap that. Uh, seals up the uh, chimney to the top cap all right we got her all juiced up let's put her back on the ante here or the mod put her drip tip in and we're gonna take it back up we're gonna vape on it talk on it and uh, all that good stuff Okay guys, hey we're back. Got the uh, Russia 91% built with a chimney build. Let's give her a vape. Oh yeah. Good flavor, good vapor. Um, some guys might not might not like doing it that way and just stick with the old way, but I find this gives you way better flavor, um, way better vapor. And uh, let's see if you can see that. Yep. Sitting right at 14 watts. It turned out to be a 1.6 ohm build. Anywhere between 1.6, 1 1.8, 1 1.9, somewhere in there. But uh, I find that uh, the way you wick it and uh, everything, it uh, works out pretty good.
I don't know, it's all subjective. You know, people are going to do what they want. But anyways, that's the way I've done it. And I think IMO, um, it's got better flavor, better vapor. Um, your air is coming up through the center of the coil. And uh, I don't know. I think it's great. I like it. So anyways, until next time, we'll catch you later there, YouTube. This is Truck Driver Russ saying vape on.